Okay, it is Saturday night. Alex Jones here with another update, a very important update concerning what is really behind the tragic Boston bombings and what it's going to mean to the American people and the people of the world. But first off, I want to begin this little uh, breakdown uh, showing you Barton Springs in Austin, Texas. If you ever visit, believe me, you want to go there. It's one of the biggest spring-fed pools in North America. And I was down here up underneath a tree, uh, laying there with a towel over my head before I swam some laps, and uh, noticed some military guys with their wives and girlfriends, because I heard them talking about military affairs, uh, putting out their towels and talking. And I sat there and listened to them from about 10 yards away for about a half an hour, uh, talk about how his brother lived up in Oklahoma City and how the feds had blown that up and how they'd killed Terrence Yakey, the cop, and how they had double agents and a bunch of people and how it tied into the Boston bombing. And you know what the good news is? I talked to this group of about eight people, about four guys and four girls. They were all about 30 years old or so. They were all really smart you know, fitness type folks, military people, but also they'd already gotten out into private business. And the good news is none of them knew who I was. They didn't know who Alex Jones was, but they knew all the information. <laughs> that means we're all doing our job. And then I had somebody else when I was leaving walk up to me and say, oh, you know, they staged it. And I probably only talked to five, six people while I was there, so... That's a large percentage that are really getting what's happening. So there you go. Believe me, the globalists are not going to like that news. But again, they're spying on everything. They already know people are awake to them. That's why they're trying to get our guns instead of a police state. All right. Now, you remember this event. I've interviewed the surviving police officers, like Mr. Browning, the head of the canine unit, uh, who was told by the FBI, we'll kill you and your, uh, you and your wife if you don't shut up about all the stuff you know. We know who the feds were that planted the bomb. We know this special forces gentleman who they kept good and drugged up after they set him up as the patsy. See the film that I'm in. It's an excellent documentary. I did a lot of research on it myself and worked with the crew. It's called A Noble Lie if you want the most up-to-date info on that. Okay, uh, we told you days before this uh, came out today that, of course, the FBI was handling them. We showed videos of the FBI surveilling them. Uh, clearly reporting them leaving the scene around where the bomb went off. There were, let's not exaggerate, I don't know, 20, 30 military people in military outfits, dozens of military types uh, in plain clothes, police everywhere, all looking right where the bombs go off. I mean, this was like an intelligence convention or something. And I'm going to get into the history of this uh, here in a moment. People are really... Uh, starting to realize this is a staged event. Uh, and they may have been real terrorists. Um, but the point is they were protected, they were radicalized, uh, they were sent uh, to uh, Chechnya and other areas, probably double agents. And we've got some news on that in a second. But you need to just go look at all the other contractors and people that we have listed on InfoWars.com uh, over in this area right here. So you can uh, check that out for yourself and see all the photos in the different groups of patsies. Uh, because, again, they run a handbook, uh, a, kind of a playbook on these things over and over again. That's why we've learned what to spot and what to see. I wish this wasn't an inside job. I wish it wouldn't have happened. But if it's going to happen, I would rather it be lone groups than my own government. That is a thousand times worse. Believe me, it's not fun going up against these people. Now, you can say what you want about Debka file. It's run by a bunch of Mossad and Shin Bet people. I've found it overall to be pretty damn accurate. Uh, and I was already saying this on air days ago. Uh, these guys have the MO of double agents. Uh, there's no way they're going in and out of the country uh, to the areas they were visiting uh, and not being uh, connected to U.S. intelligence or at least being visited by intelligence, which has now come out they have been. And if you look at what's happening in Dagestan and Kazakhstan and other areas, the West is trying to fund al-Qaeda in those areas to menace the Russians. So uh, these guys uh, just really fit the bill as patsies. And, and they would fight back uh, once they figured out they'd been set up and were going to be killed. Again, we don't know the truth of any of what we've been told, though. But dead men tell no tales. This brother's dead, and uh, this one can't talk now. I got shot in the throat, we're told. Uh, 
when they're trying to keep, quote, media and anybody else away, and even police away, the feds are. Uh, yeah. Oh, remember this Fox News, Amar al four of the top five al-Qaeda leaders, all trained in the U.S., all U.S. citizens previously. Uh, they staged his death, which I predicted after this all came out. Really, CIA, I mean, who created the uh, al-Qaeda groups to radicalize the Muslims. There's CBS News reporting on the same thing. Uh, here is uh, the report uh, where their father and the mother, and of course you expect that from parents, but I mean, they're just saying there's no way they were set up by security services. Yeah, they're not too stupid being from that, uh, that area of Central Asia. U.S. teen accused of seeking to join al-Qaeda linked Syrian group. This is two, two hours ago. They're now having to arrest uh, the idiot American kids that try to go join the NATO U.S. funded al-Qaeda takeover of Libya and Syria, which the CFR said last year, quote, we need al-Qaeda. I mean, I'm just sick of hearing, I've got to give my rights up because of al-Qaeda, and then most of it's run by the West to go take down secular governments and wreck everything and kill Christians and Jews in Libya and Syria. I mean, I'm sick of it. Remember Mohammed Karzai? He's not a good guy, but his intel is accurate. I don't just believe him. He says al-Qaeda and the Taliban are run by the West as a pretext to be here to control the opium. He, of course, wants it all for himself. Uh, but what he's saying is true. Uh, and he said the U.S. is staging bombings here, blowing up its own bases and us as a pretext to stay. Yeah, it's called full-spectrum dominance. You've got you've to have a fake attack on yourself to be there if you want the oil, the gas pipelines, and the $500 billion a year in opium. Opium production went from 9% worldwide in 2001 out of Afghanistan to 93%. Don't believe me? Just search that. And, of course, here's the New York Times. Terrorist plots hatched by the FBI, almost all of them. I mean, I'm just reporting here what is well-known facts. And just because you're ignorant and say, there is no Atlantic Ocean, I've never seen it, that's your problem. I've seen it, and it's on maps. It exists. And what I'm talking about is just mainline for anybody who isn't a complete moron. These federal agencies want to continue their existence. They want a power grab. The military-industrial complex wants to sell. They sold like $15 million of bomb robots last year to the city where I live. And if a bag blows out of a car, they have robots out there and all this crap. Uh, now they're having TSA checkpoints five miles from where I'm sitting in Austin, Texas. I mean, it, it, it's, just for, it's, it's this culture of total fear when hundreds of thousands die from flesh-eating bacteria, you know, every year in the U.S. And, there's, and, and honey bees kill hundreds of people. They hype all this up and America will stand strong and then it sells this whole globalist policy of invading all these countries. But let's just say it wasn't some type of provocateur or false flag or allowed to happen situation. Let's just say that's not the case. Because, I mean, they were all being followed, all being controlled. There were people everywhere. And the Israelis conclude, well, they must have been double agents. And by the way, that's happened before. They've had double agent Al-Qaeda blow people up in Afghanistan and stuff. But that's very rare. The preponderance of history, the motive, the means, it's the globalist who want to get rid of American freedom and lock down whole cities and come in everybody's houses. And then it wasn't even the police that found the guy. After they told everybody you can leave your house after 10 hours or whatever it was or more locked down, that's prison term, then when people could come out, the guy noticed the tarp pulled back on his boat. Just a bunch of grandstanding, 400 troops, 2,000 police, all this on the marathon route, and you couldn't stop the bombing. So don't tell me that I've got to have some 20-year-old trooper, you know, army troopers, uh, grope me. In fact, I've got photos I want to show you. It's a Papers, Please. Let me see this. Papers, Please. Infowars.com. I should pull it up. And uh, here it is. This, a, 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 a picture says a thousand words, doesn't it? Nazi Germany. Searching everyone for their safety. I mean, come on. It's, I mean, don't be anti-police, anti-military, and then Boston. And I mean, if you can see the satisfied look on this young guy's face, he is just enjoying his stupid authority. I mean, give me a break, man. It's totally illegal. Had enough of it. So just let that sink in real good. Now, the good news is when I talk to those military people, they were all aware of what was going on. So the jig is up. And, of course, they're coming after black powder. Oh, my gosh, they might have used black powder 
that people use. So now you got to register it or restrict it and SWAT team anybody that doesn't have it properly. Just more reasons to harass gun owners. And, and oh, oh, here's the big point. The whole reason I shot this video and that I'm done. This is the key to it all. They kept saying, here are their faces. We don't know who they are. And it turns out the government had been surveilling them for five years and had multiple meetings with them. <laughs> but they had to like show you their photos and build it up and act like they were really doing something because they were going to blame right-wing patsies. That had leaked. That had come out. They were going to go after gun owners and Tea Party people. MSNBC couldn't help but brag. We now know it's Lone Wolf Tea Party. It'll be coming out in the next few hours. An arrest has been made. Remember all that on Wednesday, but we released all the photos of the patsies, so they had to back off with the Navy SEAL types watching them. So they had to back off that and go with Plan 2, because they always have a bunch of different groups at the scene, so they have fallback plans. So they're caught red-handed there. And if you're a little dense from fluoride, a new viewer, let me just say it very slow. They said they didn't know who the guys were in all the digital photos and video that they had, and they doled it out. When meanwhile, these guys are clearly double agents, bare minimum, they knew exactly who they were and could have released their names, but they didn't want it released until they'd already whacked them. Because dead men tell no tales, and now they've done surgery, of course, and the larynx and vocal cords are gone on the other one, and he'll be drugged up properly even if he does survive. Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com. We'll cover this all tomorrow on the radio, 4 p.m. Central. Audio streams and video streams are free at InfoWars.com forward slash listen. This false flag has blown up in your face, globalist, and the signal will not be stopped. The people are waking up.